welcome to my weekly vlog three um i'm currently in my car it's monday the 13th i think i never check the dates before i start my vlogs um i think it's monday the um 13th i'm currently on my way to town because i have a new look parcel waiting for me in the shops because it's like three pound or more to have it delivered to the house when it's free just to have it delivered to the shop so i'm just gonna go to town now get my parcel uh i need to get some more healthy alternatives because i was told because i'm on this like a healthy group um facebook page that i made i have like over 1k members um on there i posted what i got and apparently some bites on healthy i didn't even know because at the bottom there's like it tells you it's green if it's healthy um amber if it's like okay like in the middle and red if it's like not good for you and the sun bites have red at the bottom i didn't even know about that but um the other things i got was amber and green so that's good so i'm gonna just gonna go have like have a look around just so i know like for future reference as well the kind of things i should be having and i also know like you can have ham like as because it's like um in the sleeping world you can have like as much ham as you want because apparently it's good uh and um so yeah i'm gonna get some of that and go to town maybe popping promo but i'm determined not to buy anything sean is phoning the registrar today to um book us in to talk about the wedding because i really want to move there um i gotta obviously this year get my infusions and all my appointments and everything under wraps um so i'm gonna do that this year but by like say february time like january february my march um i really i'm gonna i'll be moving to anglesey and yeah we really want to book the day um next time i'm there in february just to secure it because like we want something to work towards so if we have like, the date booked we've got something to like both work towards for in the future if that makes sense so yeah we chance finding them today hopefully get also up appointment for when i'm over there but i'm rambling really long this time but yeah i'm just gonna go to town get my parcel pop into tesco's and come home okay so i've got this new cot online it's really nice like fair and then the arms are like i don't know i'm not good with materials but i thought it would be so nice and it's in the cell there's no more sizes left and i've just tried it on <laughs> like i don't know how to like show you properly but it's like mom said it looks three times too big so um, every time i think i'm not losing weight i actually am because this is my size and <laughs> it's too big but now i'm sad because it's really nice it only costs a tenner and i have to send it <laughs> he's washing my car now awful where is he oh he's at the back climbed in the booth <laughs> he's in the booth where is he now? Oh my god, I think he's coming my side. Oh. Do a good job. I've had my car. How long have I had my car? Year and a half. Shut up, mom. How long? I've had my car since November. Oh. So three months and I've washed it twice. And here yeah, they wash it off here and dry it and it's only a fiver. And they do a really good job. Just sprayed this. He's spraying the car. Mum said he's got acid. Oh, he's coming this way. Hold on. Look. What the hell is that? He's moving. Spraying us. <laughs> See ya. So this is my car because I washed it yesterday. Very clean. And the inside is really dirty. I still need to clean the inside. I'm in my car, I look a mess because I've got like nothing on my face but I'm going to get eyebrow tint because oh, I need to tint my eyebrows Um, haven't tinted my eyebrows in ages and now they're I mean you can see them, like it's still there a bit but they're going really ginger and it's really hard to like fill in and shape them and stuff so i got to go get some eyebrow tint and I need some normal uh, I need some more tough paste. I really want to try, um, like, look for like a teeth whitening kit, like a good one, not like the harmful ones that's gonna like affect the enamel and stuff. But uh, I don't have the best colour teeth, and when I've been vlogging, I've realised when I'm editing, and it's kind of embarrassing. So I'm gonna look for 
some kind of teeth whitening thing and um, then I'm gonna go home and me and mum are going to put on a movie I think we're watching the new Freddie Mercury movie even though I've seen it like probably like six times in the cinemas uh, but it's really good and we're gonna watch that today and just chill out we're going out tomorrow shopping so today is just really like a self-care to my eyebrow kind of day okay so this is what i got um i got my eyebrow tint i always have the dark brown and it works for me so and then i got this whitening pen because i had high smile before it's like when you put a gel on your teeth and it just didn't work for me and this was a pound from being and so i thought i'd try this so might as well try it and i really wanted to use some floss because i want to clean in my doing my teeth and this was a pound for two i looked in boots and this was 150 each and then in b and it was two for a pound and then this was on sale they all be 3D white looks, glamorous white. Um, I googled this when I was in there to see if it was any good, and everywhere else it's like five or six pound. So I picked it up, and the pictures looked really good. What I looked at, so I'm gonna start using this, and yeah, hopefully have white tea because I drink a lot of tea. Typical British. So this is my teeth. Um, I just washed them with the. This the Oral Bay 3D White Looks, and I did the pen. It said to um, put a thin layer on your teeth, like the front of your teeth, and leave it to dry for 30 to 60 seconds. So I left it the 60 seconds, and yeah, it says so you should whiten up just two shades within a week. So let's say, oh, this is them now, and oh like in a week's time after doing it like every day hopefully they'll wait morning everyone it's currently thursday the 17th of january um i haven't recorded a lot this week and i was just looking at all my footage and i was like oh my god this is going up someday and it's thursday and i'm literally doing nothing so i thought I might as well do like i get ready with me i know my hair is mental at the minute <laughs> i've blow dried it for the first time since having it caught and i look like something that's just come out of the 80s so don't <laughs> look up too much at my hair i really wanted to start this channel to sort of open up about push down feelings so i thought what's what's the best way to um do a get ready ready with me? just quickly for my brows i use eyeshadow my hair's ginger my brows i've tinted them i'm really happy with them um they're gonna be a lot easier to fill in i can't can't find no like actual brow product that is red enough for to like suit my hair i'm quickly gonna do my brows i um shake my brows first with the revolution foundation i normally do it the concealer but i think i got a too dark um too light of a concealer because when i put it on it literally looks like grey so i shaped them this so i'm just gonna do this so i was having a shower earlier and like i said i really wanted to like talk how i'm feeling more because i i feel like i'm a really closed off person um like if anyone knows me and they watch this i'll be like what the hell i didn't know she felt like that <laughs> but um yeah let's let's try and do these brows So I just shake my brows a little bit. Um, they have not worked today, but I'm only going to get my infusions and <laughs> pop the pan on. I really was thinking early in the shower, I wanted to come and just talk about my granddad's. I don't know that sounds weird. It sounds weird, but I feel like I don't talk about them with anyone. Like, if you know me, like family or friends. Well, I talk to my friends. But if you're watching this and your family think of a time i've spoke to you about my granddad since they passed like i just i don't like talking about them and i don't know why like at the start i wanted to keep them in my memory like i wanted to talk about them at the start but as time's gone on as soon as someone mentions their names i feel myself starting to panic and i don't know that's just like a weird thing with me but i feel myself starting to like 
I could feel my heart racing and I just like wanna not talk about it like I wanna change subject but at the same time I feel like I should talk about them because if I like if I'm not talking about them and it's making me panic every time someone mentions their name how am I gonna look has a have like a positive memory of them so yeah I was gonna start this get ready with me with talking about things I've never talked about before I always normally film my brows in too much you can't see it at the minute but like I've left lots of natural hair at the front and I haven't filled them in and it looks so much better anyway what I wanted to talk about is my granddad's so my granddad Ernest, two granddads passed in March, so granddad Ernest was my dad's dad, granddad John was my mum's dad. Granddad Ernest passed on the 5th of March, we had his funeral on the 19th of March and then my granddad John passed away on the 22nd of March. So it was like <laughs> right by each other. Um, I always regret not seeing my granddad Ernest as much like the thing I keep thinking back about and regretting I can't do my makeup because I'm gonna cry anyway see I can't even like start to talk about them without like I feel myself like panicking or welling up but anyway the thing I always regret is I went to Brighton when he passed and but well, I'd, I'd be back I'd been back for like two days or so and Sean was here <clears throat> and I said to Sean I'll should we like go see my granddad? And Sean was like, yeah, because like, Sean loves, m loves my granddad Ernest. So I messaged my nan, and I was like, can we come see granddad? And she was like, yeah, he's really unwell though, but you can come for like a quick visit. <clears throat> so I was like to Sean, should we go? Because he's like, obviously he's unwell, um, but should we go? And Sean was like, yeah if you want to like i was like no like if he's that unwell like we'll just give him time to rest we'll go see him tomorrow or go see him another time and look another time because i didn't like understand the depth of how unwell he was we we're going to pass of pancreatic cancer <clears throat> and he had uh, like more problems as well but that was the main um the main thing and I didn't understand how like advanced it was, even though I know it was advanced, but I didn't think it'd be. Anyway, so we asked to go to see him the night, and my mum was like, "Yeah, but he's unwell," and I was like, "Okay, we'll look, come look and look tomorrow or something." And the next day he passed away. So I'll always look. I think when someone passes, you think back of like all the bad things, and like going to like some regret let me do my other brow hold on my eyes don't match this brow is always way better than the other yeah so i regret that um and then when my granddad john passed on the 22nd of march um i went and we went in the daytime to see him because my nan called and said he was like he wasn't well so obviously like my granddad has um <coughs> crpd he was in hospital a lot he had like carbon dioxide problems true british tea um so yeah we went to see him um and that day he had two or three seizures and i saw one of them um but like he got out of his hospital bed he went to the kitchen he found my auntie doreen like he was the strongest person um and obviously when i left this is another thing i regret when i left i didn't say goodbye because like no one expected him we had the doctor come out to him when we were there and said like gave him like an injection to like calm him down but was like we'll send him some medication like in a few days like he, he's not gonna pass like she didn't even think herself and that night we got back and then like my mom stayed longer but when my mom got back like 15 minutes after she got back the farm rung and it was my auntie saying you gotta come down with it look that's past and so like i was definitely like it was kind of expected but not that soon um <clears throat> so 
So it goes without saying, I was um, close to my granddad John. Look, a lot closer, even though I love my granddad only, so obviously, like, but we were just always at like, we were my granddad's, my granddad John. Um, he's like my best friend. Like, I know a lot of people say that after someone passes, like, there was my best friend, like, I loved him so much, like, all this, but literally. His, um, my nickname for him and my nan is Polly and look we just had this like connection look we were just like best friends so everyone grieves in a really unique way like some people grieve like openly and some closed and but I feel like my grief is unhealthy because if you ask anyone that's close to me and you ask like oh how is Kurt like ask how I am with about my granddad so I said look she never talks about it like look she's fine because obviously I just I don't like talking about how I feel especially to close fam look family like my mum or dad I wouldn't talk to them how I felt openly just because like I think the only person I've really spoke to is a small group of friends and sure yeah my granddad's past i think he's like eight months now or so but i feel like i'm not even in the group like i know you go through group stages and i don't know how like they're different for everyone but i still feel like i'm like the start like i feel like my grief is taking too long to process i think it's probably because I've, i don't talk about it but, but i kind of still feel like in the denial yeah i kind of still feel like i'm in the denial stages because when i i don't know how to explain this yet. i'm really not good with talking even though i know i need to start opening up and talking because it's really unhealthy so i don't know where i am at the minute because i feel like <coughs> obviously i've got amazing amazing supportive um family around me it's just a personal problem like i literally can't i can't open up about how i feel um and lately i've been thinking about all the things that have happened that i regret all things that i did or like <clears throat> here's an example my granddad had my granddad john had a scooter like um, um disability scooter <coughs> And he used to come up our house all the time and then used to call me like have you seen your granddad he's disappeared again on his scooter and you'd look at the window and he'll be like coming up on the corner let's close this window a bit i don't know what to hear me like he'll be coming up on the look like, the corner and we'll be like oh he's here he's here again like <clears throat> and once like he kept bringing a um shave rope because like a few times I'd shave him because he wanted me to but then he kept doing it and one time he came up and I was like no like you've been capable of doing it yourself you could do it yourself like kind of thing and I didn't do it for him and he went home and now I regret that like the stupidest things like what I'd do to like have that moment back and agree to just shave him like that happened in March then um my uncle unexpectedly passed away in april i believe and that was my earnest like my dad's side of the family and then in my sean's nan passed away um he lived with his nan and his dad so that was a uh, really hard as like he lived with her like i think it like obviously when you live with me so that was really hard as well that was like four deaths in three months and that was just like, like what next can actually like happen you know something did happen after that i know i got cancer the worst thing to say to someone with cancer is trying to like belittle them like, i'm sorry but i got so annoyed so many times i know you didn't tell it look like, obviously wouldn't say it to the faces but i hate when you're going through like what i went through and people try to make it sound Look less than it actually is. Look clearly they're just trying to make you feel better and help you, but I really didn't help, thanks. Okay, so I thought I'd quickly go off camera to finish 
my eye look. Um, I need to use eyeliner now and mascara. My eye look is like, my eye look is not good today. I have to have checkups every three months um, for the next five years, and my first checkup is um, Wednesday. This um, get ready with me has made this vlog very long. So if you liked the ending of this vlog talking more let me know and I'd really like to do more and pop hands at the door so yeah thank you for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe Shoot, get stars.